hi everyone in this video our topic of discussion will be theory of costs uh, we will discuss different concepts of costs then types of costs long run and short run costs then theories of costs if we see what cost actually means cost is an expenditure that a producer incurs on production here if we see the cost function cost is a function of different factors the first one is output then second one is the technology and the third one is that is prices of factors then the prices of fixed factors of production here c is a dependent variable and these all are independent variables in case of function what happens it is a relationship between dependent and independent variables what happens if there is any change in the independent variables automatically it occurs a change in the dependent variable so cost is a function of different factors some may be variable factors and some may be fixed factors here in microeconomics what we are saying we are saying that cost is a function of output why it is assumed like that or why it is interpreted like that actually we want to measure this cost on two dimensional graph if we suppose cost is a function of all these factors we can't depict this function on the two dimensional graph and for that we need more dimensions but when we are saying that cost is a function of output and all other factors determine cost affecting cost we assume constant then only we can depict this on the two dimensional graph all other factors except output determine affecting cost are the shift factors shift factors in the sense if we assume a change in shift factors that is other than output a change in technology change in prices of factors or change in fixed factors it will occur a shift in cost curve this is the reason we assume cost is a function of output and all other factors we give constant then when we proceed further we have concept of short run costs and long run costs what are these short run costs these are the costs at which the firm operates at any one period of time but in case of long run costs we call these costs as planning costs or x and costs why these costs are referred to as or called as planning or x and costs in the sense that they present the optimal possibilities for expansion of output here in case of short run costs firm operates at any one time period but in case of long run long run costs optimal possibilities for expansion of output are after that we have the concept of explicit costs and implicit costs in case of explicit costs these are the costs incurred by producer to factors of production which he purchased from others and in case of implicit costs these are the costs on the factors of production which a producer owns by himself for example in case of explicit costs if a producer purchase labor in case of implicit costs 
a producer owns machinery or he owns his own land in theory of costs we have two types of theories one is traditional theory of costs and the second one is modern theory of costs let me first explain the traditional theory of costs what it states traditional theory of costs divide the whole period into two one is the short run period and the second one is long run period traditional theory of costs distinguishes between short run costs and long run costs here in case of traditional theory of costs total cost that is equal to total fixed cost and total variable cost what happens in case of total fixed cost it remains constant over the period of time here cost is not a function of variable factors it is only a function of fixed factors whether you are producing output or not you have to pay to the fixed factors of production but what happens here in case of total variable costs you have to pay to the factors of production when you will produce a level of output that means with the change in the level of output with the change in the level of production then only you have to incur costs on the variable factors of production so total cost is equal to total fixed cost plus total variable cost that means cost on fixed factors of production and cost on variable factors of production in case of short run here some factors we keep constant but in case of long run we keep all the factors uh variable now we have the short run costs and long run costs let me first explain the short run costs and the shape of short run cost curves in traditional theory here average fixed cost it is equal to total fixed cost divided by level of output total output average variable cost it is equal to total variable cost divided by output if we see the shape of average fixed cost curve in traditional theory of costs it is like this here you have to remember as per the examination point of view average fixed cost takes the shape of hyperbola in the initial period average fixed cost it declines but after that it remains constant what happens in case of average variable cost in case of average variable cost first it declines and reaches to its minimum and then it starts increasing why this happens actually this the shape of this average variable cost curve it is based on the law of variable proportions that means first cost is decrease then reaches at its minimum and then increase we explain short run cost curve after that we have the long run cost curve in traditional theory of costs here the shape of long run cost curve again is u shaped because it is derived from short run cost curves if we see here in this curve what happens it is the short run cost curves that form the long run cost curve in traditional theory of costs this cost curve is also u shaped because economies of scale 
exist only up to a certain point and after that there may be this economies of scale this is the reason that this cost curve is u shaped and this cost curve is also known as envelope curve we can say that longer end cost curve or envelope curve why this cost curve is also known as envelope curve because this long run cost curve envelops the short run cost curves one more point that you have to remember here that is the excess capacity which the economists take into account under this title traditional theory of costs what happens in case of traditional theory of costs in business sectors whenever there is increase in demand supply is not increased accordingly there they have the excess capacity after that they can't increase their supply then what happens their cost of production increase the theory of traditional uh, traditional theory of costs was discarded by modern economists they develop new theory of costs which we call as the modern theory of costs there they are saying that in traditional theory of costs they are saying that the shape of average variable cost curve it is u shaped because of law of diminishing marginal returns and because of excess capacity in business units here what they are saying that they are saying that the shape of average variable cost curve is sasata because of reserve capacity they are saying that business units used to keep reserve capacity when supply increases they can use this reserve capacity and at that time costs remain constant for some time and after that they will increase as far as the shape of long run cost curve is concerned modern theory of costs that means the economists uh, who are the economists of modern theory of costs they are saying that uh, they showed that the shape of long run cost curve is not the u shaped but it is l shaped l shaped in the sense they are saying that production costs will decrease when we uh, produce more levels of output but there is a possibility that managerial costs will increase but over the period of time what happens production costs are offset by the managerial costs what happens here production costs will decrease when levels of output are increased when there is increase in output but managerial costs will decrease over the period of time here what happens decrease in production costs offsets the increase in managerial costs this is the reason the shape of long run cost curve is l shape and not the u shaped and the second reason is that is the reserve capacity business units they may have reserve capacity when supply increases they can use this reserve capacity and at that time cost remains constant thank you other topics we will discuss in the next videos